Question number 77 says, at a distance 34 feet from the base of a flagpole. So can we go ahead and draw a flagpole? And then a ground. So obviously we can say like that's the ground. Here's a little like flagpole, right? So we are 34 feet away. Um, the angle of elevation to the top of the flag that is 5.1 feet tall is 48.6 degrees, the angle of elevation to the bottom of the flagpole is 44.6. The pole extends one foot above the flag. Find the height of the pole. So we have a flag. That's 5.1. That's my flag. And it says the angle of elevation to the top of the flag is 48.6. The angle of elevation to the bottom of the flag is 46, 44.6. Yes? And then this distance is one foot as well. OK? And we've also created a right triangle, so we know we can use trig here. So they want us to find the height of the flagpole. Now, what is it we, we have one foot there. We have 5.1 feet here. We just don't know this, right? So wouldn't you guys agree the, let's just call this distance. Let's call this D. The height is equal to D plus 5.1 plus 1. Yeah? So why don't we just find D? Do we have enough information to find D? Well, let's take out the triangle. If you guys remember in this chapter, I said draw the picture, then redraw just the triangle with the information you need, right? Because this is good to like mentally understand what the problem is doing, but this is not good, like it can be confusing as well. So let's just redraw a triangle that we want to use. Let's use 44.6 and 34 feet. Oh, I have enough room here. I can use, if I need, here's my angle, here's my opposite side, here's my adjacent side. Therefore, I can use the tangent function. 44.6 equals D over 34. And D is equal to 34 feet times the tangent of 44.6 degrees. I should probably put the degrees there. So in my calculator, now again, I'm dealing with a degree, right? So I haven't used this calculator before. So what's the first thing I'm going to make sure I have? That it's in degree mode, right? Don't want it to be in radian mode. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's in degree mode. And then I'm just going to do 34 times the tangent of 44.6. And I get 33.52. But again, that is not my answer, is it? Actually, 33.53 if you round to the nearest tenth. Now, is that an answer choice, though? No, but 33 was. And some people might say, oh, well, it's close enough. I'll just go with that answer, right? So if I add 5.1 to that answer and then add 1, I get a 39.6. And is that an answer? Yes, and that is E. OK? I'm sorry? What's the extraneous information? Well, it's not really extraneous. I mean, could you also find the length of that triangle and then subtract 5.1? Yeah, it's not really worth it, right? So yeah, it's not really good information. But you could still use it, right? Actually, you don't even need to. If you just find that height, use that, and then just add one foot to it. 